Our pinpoint weather team coverage continues now. It's been a while since winter weather has hit our area, and tonight cities and towns are bracing themselves for this upcoming storm. And for more on the preps being taken and where city and state snow budgets stand tonight, let's go to Iowa News reporter Kelly Sullivan, who continues our pinpoint weather team coverage live with the mobile newsroom. Kelly. Well, Mike and Shannon, the last time we had any measurable snow was February 12th. We had three inches, so it's been about a month since we've had our last snowfall. So in about two hours from now, crews here in Warwick, they'll be getting into their trucks. They'll start pre-treating the roads for this late winter snowfall. Just when you thought we were in the clear. Well, I thought winter was over. I thought we were done. Good old Mother Nature will be blanketing southern New England with a fresh coat of snow Friday morning. Crews in Warwick are ready. Looks like it's going to start off light around midnight and then start to intensify around rush hour in the morning, the worst time it could. Warwick and other communities in the area already have parking bans in place. And something else that helps road crews is the recent warm temperatures. Right now the temperatures are favorable for us to start off at least. Though Warwick Director of Public Works David Bacosi warns dropping temperatures could pose a bigger problem. Like the last storm we had, it started off wet and froze right away, so that's the worst case scenario. So we're hoping that doesn't happen again. The stockpile is ready with $200,000 remaining and their $400,000 budget for snow. And Bacosi says the city can handle a few more storms. We stocked up after the last storm, and as you know, we haven't had anything since. We were hoping we are going to get through the rest of the year, but looks like we may have at least a couple of more before the end of the year. I think we should be done with it, but then again, I know from the past, we've got these sneaky storms in the middle of March, in the middle of, or the beginning of April, so you have to be ready. This is New England. And Pacozzi tells me they usually wait until after St. Patrick's Day to start their street sweeping to get all the salt and the sand off the roads. He says they start to do that last year, but if you might remember early April there was a snowstorm. So he said this year they learned their lesson. They didn't start that street sweeping and they say they're going to hold off on that a bit and just wait a little bit longer. For now, reporting live in Warwick with the West Bay Mobile Newsroom, Kelly Sullivan, Eyewitness News.